Hey, what's going on YouTube? JJML TV HD. We out here with the pixel. Let me just get it naked real quick, even though we got it in the see-through case. Um, one week later, what am I saying for this phone? One week later, like I went from a Huawei Mate 20X to a OnePlus 7 Pro, and then a OnePlus 7 Pro to this. Starting with a Snapdragon 670, four gigabytes of RAM, um, I mean, at least the camera, the camera's doing its job kind of thing. Um, but even the megapixel count is down to 12 megapixels from the 48 megapixels and the 40 megapixels on the Huawei and OnePlus 7 Pro. Um, so yeah, I've kind of made a downgrade here. Um, not in terms of the camera itself, because obviously I know Google's post-processing is doing jobs, um, which I believe at this moment in time is better than the OnePlus and the Huawei put together. Um, but yeah, just in terms of how the phone itself acts, <coughs> is it worth it? Um, well, let's, let's just look into the RAM situation first of all. So these are all the apps that I've currently just got chilling there, open. Um, the RAM, yeah, everything, everything has to be reloaded again. I've never really gone to anything and still, okay, Twitter's still open. That's nice. Let's, let's, let's see what else we got. Uh, eBay, I opened that earlier. So yeah, that had to completely reload there. Um, let's go to the things that are all the way down the list. Yep, that had to reload as well. <laughs> so yeah, the four gigabyte RAM situation. Um, bit of a bottleneck, but do you know what? To be honest, nobody's going to die. As you can see, everything is still loading there quick. Um, which leads me on to the processor situation. It's It's cool. For everyday tasks, for doing what I need to do, for going on to Twitter kind of thing, scrolling on a bit of Twitter, looking at your mentions and doing things like that. Um, damn, what happened to that guy's Nintendo Switch? <laughs> it works. It works fine. You know, Instagram. Where's Instagram? Let's go on to Instagram. Instagram is there. It's cool, you know. Loads fine. If I want to switch back to Twitter now, still works fine. Um, for everyday tasks, it's cool. But there are certain things that you can't do with this processor that I've just noticed compared to the previous other phones I had, namely the OnePlus 7 Pro. Um, one of those things is I can't edit 4K video using Power Editor. So when you go into Power Editor and you go to um, produce a video, you go into this part here and there's usually a section which says export in 4K. Now it says here that 1080p is the maximum resolution that I can export in here. Um, not that it's, you know, ideal to be really <laughs> editing 4K video on a phone with 1080p screen, but um, I just noticed that that option is not there. Am I going to die because of it? Not really. <laughs> Do I care? Yeah, a little bit, but um, most of my videos in 1080 anyway. Um, and the same thing kind of goes on with gaming. Like I noticed when I played Fortnite, um, I wasn't obviously able to get the high settings, um, the high resolution or the um, high frame rate set in the 60 frames per second. Um, but then saying that, most other games, apart from Fart uh, Fortnite, Fortnite play extremely well. Um, so I haven't really had a problem. And then, the, you know, there's the camera, guys. Like, this camera is very serious. Like, if I just... If, as you can see by the weather up there, guys, this is why I'll I just don't show go you. outside. But anyway, we out here. <laughs> well, let's get started. Show you what's going on. This camera is very, very, very serious. Like, bruv, bruv. Even the video. I mean, I've heard some people slagging off the video quality of it. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm not a proper camera person, but the video quality on this just seems, it just seems good to me. To me, that's all right. I mean, you guys tell me different, innit? Let me know in the comment section. But to me, that's all right. <laughs> even, even like the quality of the pictures themselves. Like, yo, you guys even, you guys even pre in this. That's wild. The, the software is is just doing a madness. I mean, it's basically as I think people are saying, it's just the pixel free camera, um, on a processor which is lesser than the pixel free. That's that's literally what it is here, fam. So it's still got the hardware it's just a little bit slower <laughs> i think i think it's cool it's it's doing its thing um what else are people asking battery life now battery has been a bit hit and miss one thing i really do miss that like, i legitly do miss like i'm not gonna lie I'll, sometimes i'm thinking mm, i might have to go back to oneplus or huawei is their 
grade of fast charging. Like the battery here, I get kind of six hours, six and a half hours kind of thing of um, screen on time, which is okay. I mean, it's good actually, it's good. I'm not gonna lie, it's better than okay. But it's just the fact that it will take me into the next day with 20% battery. However, charging it in the morning is a bit, yeah, you know, it's like, <laughs> I'll have to wake up at six o'clock and then charge it um, so that it can at least get more than 80% before I need to go to work. Um, whereas with the OnePlus, I felt like I could literally charge it as I'm walking out the door <laughs> and it will charge up to 100%. Um, the fast charger is cool. It's just not as fast as other phones that I've been spoiled with kind of thing. So I'm just having to kind of, you know, take a step back and reset my charging... Um, what was it called? Like my, my charging things. Yeah? Don't know what I'm trying to say there. Charging routine. Routine. That is the word. Okay. Reset my whole charging routine. Done though. <laughs> um, apart from that, unlike the Huawei, I'm just getting all my notifications because obviously it's just stock Android on here. Um, and the compatibility with all apps and mostly everything just works on here straight away. There's no, you know, OnePlus um, UI or Huawei UI or Samsung UI to get in the way of any of these apps working. I've just had 100% compatibility on all apps. And that's something I feel that I'm only getting with this because of the stock Android experience. You know, the the way Google expects Android to be used. Um, one thing that does annoy me, which you'll see me do more than once, is when I swipe up, it just goes to multitasking and I have to swipe up again to get to the app drawer. I think it should just be one swipe to get to the app drawer. Um, you can do a quick swipe. <coughs> a slow swipe, sorry, to get to the app drawer. But um, I just wanna do a quick swipe, get to the app drawer and do my thing. Um, one thing that is really cool though is like, let's say you're in another app and let's say, you know, you get the, you swipe up to get the app drawer, I mean the quick multitasking, you've actually got your quick apps at the bottom as well, which is kind of cool. So, you know, you can just go into any app like that. Um, yeah, and live your best life. I think guys, this phone, there's, there's more to it than meets the eye initially. Like, you know it's a Pixel 3 camera and that the camera is sorted, so you're not worried about that. The camera is brilliant. Um, but the slower processor and the RAM, I don't think it's really that deep. Even the storage, like both of my previous phones have had 256 gigabytes of storage. Now, obviously I've only had this for a week and I, I think I have used at least half of it at the moment. Um, and you don't get the free google photos storage thing on this either so yeah we're gonna have to see <coughs> what the situation is for that but right now it's doing its thing it's okay no face unlock but you've got your you know trusty fingerprint sensor on the back which unlocks it reasonably quick if i just show you there we go oh okay it's not really reasonably quick at all but you know no one's no one's died yeah it's like boom yeah, it's quite slow actually, okay. <laughs> but bam, it's when I need to use my phone. Okay, fingerprint sensor on. It's not that deep, guys. It's not that deep. But anyway, guys, let me know what you guys are thinking about the Pixel 3a. Um, for the price that it's being sold at second hand, I think this is a steal. I think this is a steal. It's it's a mid-range champ. Yeah. Up up yo. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Subscribe, like, I'll catch you in the next one. J Jemo out.